Your girl is looking a little homeless right now. Honestly, I had big plans for this week. Um, this was my first week back in school and I found it a little bit stressful because everything after the hurricane kind of went downhill and I don't mean that in a bad way necessarily. It just means that I have to be more on top of my game. I have to be more on top of my schoolwork, how I manage my time, the amount of hours I work at Starbucks. It looks like I might be getting this internship opportunity doing film photo stuff, which I'm really excited about, but that's just another thing to add on to my list of things to do. And one of my classes, which is, it's like a rehabilitative, elective. 2,000 years later. I don't know what it actually is, but basically you learn about service animals, service dogs in particular. And it has a requirement that you do 30 community service hours with animals outside of the classroom. Not a big deal, but a whole month of time that I could have been doing hours kind of got wiped away because of the hurricane. And I wasn't in town when that all happened, so I just started doing my hours and I did some this weekend for Pause for People. And I'm going to be doing another one with Monty's Home, and I'm pretty excited about those. But again, 30 hours, it's kind of a lot on my plate right now. But for this video, I planned on doing a slime review slash Amazon slime haul. Because I'm a very impatient person, I didn't wait. So I opened everything up. I kind of want to show you what I got. So the first thing I got that I'm really excited about is, this is not an Amazon haul. This one is actually dope slimes. So dope slimes, <laughs> They are a big batch slime company, and honestly, I am living for this slime. It is the, like hands down best thing I ever had. I have <laughs> best thing I've ever played with, I should say. It leaves minimal res residue. It leaves minimal residue in the container, which is kind of hard. I've noticed for slime, like Jay and I have been trying to make our own and just make it really smooth and consistent, like this. And I find it's very hard to do. A lot of the times it ends up sticking to the container. Um, we've made a couple of good ones that we're really proud about, but this one is just awesome. It's like a light, um, a light blue, baby blue, a shell blue, whatever you want to call it. And it has flown beads in it. It smells like cotton candy and it is absolutely great. And it keeps me busy, keeps my stress and anxiety down. I am living for the slime. I absolutely love it. I'm probably going to buy more from them, but you should follow them on Instagram because they actually show how they mix it and um, how they mix their slime and the huge industrial, uh, I don't even know what they're called, like dough making machines. I actually used those when I worked at a pizza place once. And so I find myself a lot of the times when I am playing with this slime, I need it like the dough that I used to um, roll into balls at the pizza <laughs> shop I worked with. But anyway, dope slimes. That is one. I also got two more slimes from a shop called, I think it's Slime by Madeline. One minute. Slime by Madeline was the second shop that I bought some slime from. And honestly, <coughs> FedEx, USPS, whoever sent this, honestly, I don't even remember. They didn't do her justice. They broke her jar. I honestly got a little too excited, I went a little too ham, and I just started playing with it before I even took pictures or sat down and did anything. So this one right here is actually, I don't even know what it's called, it's like a, it's a fishbowl, clear, glittery mermaid slime, and it had a mermaid tail in it. I took the mermaid tail out and I put it on top of the lid, and since this is like a matte paper sticker, it ripped her design right off, but it smells so good. I like it. The only thing was initially when I got it, it was so hot. The mailbox actually, it melted the slime so I had to use a lot of borax and I was going through her package and I didn't see any borax which I had some luckily but I think for any other kid who maybe they're not allowed to keep it or they're not, their parents don't have any in the house, it might be a little bit of a factor for you, but I ended up finding it, so all is well. Uh, this comes with fishbowl beads in it, uh, and it smells so good. It's really, I haven't really played with this one a lot. 
it's harder to play with. Like I've activated it so many times and it's it's nice, but it's kind of sticky and it it just falls apart really. So I don't know. If I had to rate this, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 just because I've activated it so many times and it just kind of feels melted. I will say it looks really pretty, so I'll give it that. I'm going to keep it for sure. The next one I bought is a cloud slime and it smells so good. <laughs> and honestly, it's a little dangerous for someone like me because it makes me like... It makes me want to eat it, which I know kind of sounds weird because I'm an adult and I should know better, but I mean, it smells like cotton candy slash raspberry and with stuff like this, I just, like, I can't get enough of this. I really love it and even though the, the container's broken, it's still, like, it's not dried up. It's more of a wet cloud slime than a dry one, so a lot of the residue doesn't fall out and I'm really glad about that. And I plan on keeping this for a while and playing with it a lot. The next thing I want to show you that I'm really excited about is, so everyone that I've noticed anyway that does things with slime, they use these plastic containers with the plastic tops. Some of them use the deli containers, like the cheap deli ones you can find on Amazon or Uline or pretty much any type of plastic jar supply company. but. I found these on Amazon. They are plastic, just like any of the other containers. They're a little bit cheaper too. Um, but they have an aluminum lid, and I saw this on another Etsy slime shops shop, I should say. Her slime was in jars similar to these ones. Um, I just really like the way they looked because so when I start my slime shop in the future, I want something that's going to make me stand out more than the rest and I want people who buy my product to know that it's not just for kids, it can be for adults too and the greatest thing about my company, my small little company is going to be that like I'm creating the mess so you don't have to but also it's going to come with really nice scents and really nice textures for people that are similar like me that need to keep your hands busy or you have a lot of anxiety. I feel like this is a really good way to keep yourself busy but do so in a healthy manner. And I don't know. I, I feel like I'm rambling but basically I saw these jars and I think that they're with my sticker logo that I am getting soon. I think this is the route I want to go but this is a 4 ounce and I want to go with an 8 ounce flat plastic jar like I've already decided that that's what I want to do I don't I don't know if I'm gonna go with this aluminum lid or not these ones I, I use my essential oils for this one and I added some flown beads to it last night it also has some iridescent glitter in it and it actually reminds me of Ursula from the Little Mermaid so I'm really excited about this one. I think for the first slimes that I actually make more batches of, I'm going to name, like, I'm going to have them be Disney themed or maybe something along the lines of winter theme if I do it during Christmas. I don't really know, but if you're not already following me on social media, you don't have to, but it would be a lot cooler if you did. And I actually just made an Instagram slime account. It's Port City Slimes. Go look it up. Go follow. Let's be friends. Let's share adventures together. I'm probably going to be creating more stuff in the future. But for now, this is kind of what I'm feeling and this is what is making me happy. So I'm going to keep doing it.